Um, in the 11 and a half years I've been here, I've seen the talent pool of Queensland grow, and doing the math, Sea Patrol 2, 48% Queensland higher from guest stars to pits. Season 3 of Sea Patrol, 89% Queensland higher. We have sent many actors from Queensland overseas for different things. The best story would have been two years ago when I got a call from Amy Webster saying we've looked all over the world for J.J. Abrams' new series. It shoots in 10 days, we don't have our leading lady. We've looked in New York, we've looked in Paris, we've looked in Toronto, Vancouver, Chicago, Atlanta, New York, LA, San Francisco. Is there anyone in Australia? They gave me the brief, I said, actually, there's a girl that I think would be great. And in fact, she's on the Gold Coast. She's just come back from London. And I actually have a piece of tape of an audition she did about four months ago. And I uploaded it, and it was there within the hour. Got a call back an hour later saying, we love her, can you get her in? I said, well, I don't know where she is. I'll see if I can find her. Called the agents and where is this girl? Oh, well, she's on the coast. Can she be here in the morning? Here's 12 pages of text. Um, so you've got to have it down in the morning, perfect American accent. Very long story short, she came in, she tested, we sent the test. They flew her to the States two days later. And seven days later, she starred in the series Oh, it's just not my mind. Why not? Uh, Unbelievable. Fringe. Fringe. Anatory. <laughs> the largest, most expensive pilot ever made in Hollywood. Went to a girl from the Gold Coast at the 11th hour. When I first moved here, I was told by persons who shall remain nameless that there was no talent in Queensland. I would have to get all of my guest stars from out of state. And I thought that couldn't be true. It couldn't possibly be true that there's no talent in Queensland. So I kind of made it my mission in life to rub it into the noses of Victorians and the New South Wales. Sorry. <laughs> to get Queensland retired. So here, Annie Melvin.